there's no way to describe the fulfillment that happened in that moment, and not just for myself or organization, but for the millions of people that have worked so hard for decades to have, for the first time in American history, to have a sitting president actually sit next to somebody who is in long-term recovery and then communicate that addiction recovery is a public health crisis and not a moral failing. So I get a phone call from the White House and they say that we would like you tomorrow to meet with the President of the United States, President Obama, on stage in front of, you know, thousand people and then televised for the world to talk about addiction recovery for 75 minutes. And we need to know now. I couldn't imagine being where I am today at 19, standing in front of the garage door, watch my parents go inside and say, that's the last time you just, you can't do this here and we can't let you do this here and we won't watch you um, potentially die in our house. But that really turned into a beginning, you know, the beginning of my entire recovery trajectory in my, my new life today. Everyone immediately says, well, I thought Justin, didn't he get into business school? He was a tennis instructor. I thought he had good parents. And if that's the attitude, how could anyone ever step up and say, I need help, or my loved one needs help, or is there someone who has gone before me and can you help me because my person I care about is dying? You can't do that when everyone is forcing you to whisper. We need people to tell their stories. People need to have hope. People need to know recovery is possible. We need you to be a part of creating policies that will create recovery-ready communities. Put your money where your mouth is. Help us create resources and a cache of resources to get people their supports that they need. We need not 1,000, not 10,000. We need millions of Americans to get involved with the recovery movement. We need you.